Over the past few years, I've been trying to teach myself all kinds of things. I taught myself how to play the guitar, how to code, how to take pictures, make videos, edit them, you name it. As of late, I've been trying to teach myself how to code HTML and CSS. I mean, I've been trying to figure out whether I want to make a career switch or not. But as much as I like learning, I completely suck at this self-learning type of thing. I mean, just the thought of trying to find what to learn, how to learn, and actually sit and do it, it's difficult. I suck. I, I, yeah, it's just difficult. If you haven't heard of ChatGPT, it was sent from God himself to help you with literally anything you need. And there's a distinction between what you need to do before learning and after starting to learn. Here's the thing. If you're like me, you know where you are. You want to learn something, but you don't know how to start, right? Lucky for you, there's this concept called the Pareto Principle, which states that 80% of the outcome comes from 20% of the effort. Simply said, if there's 10 topics that you need to learn, if you just learn two of them, you will probably know 80% of the things you need to learn. So for example, in my case, I'm a management consultant and I want to learn how to do UX UI. And I have a background in finance and economics. So I will ask ChatGPT, you're currently working as a management consultant. I have a background in economics and finance, which is my background and this is my position. You want to do a career switch and become a UX UI designer. Write a learning curriculum to become the best UX designer possible in under six months. Use the Pareto principle to create a focused learning path. And just like that, it will speed literally everything you need to learn, all the topics. And that's just crazy. But if you're someone like me, you're probably also extremely busy and you want to spend some time with your family. So what you can do is your day is extremely busy. You work every day, have one hour of commute per day to work. And you want to spend time with your girlfriend and dog and have a social life. Not really. Create a study schedule and curriculum for all of the above. So based on what we previously mentioned in the timeline selected, which is six months. Outline how many hours a week you should study to achieve the six months deadline. And just like that, it will speed everything you need. It will assess your time available, it will reallocate study hours, it will create a weekly study schedule, and it will create your curriculum timeline, which will help you to achieve whatever you want in that specific time. So now you have the topics and you have a timeline and you know how much you need to study each week. You're gonna ask, create a study schedule for the above. And just like that, the AI will spit to you how many hours you need to study a day, which will be probably like one or two. And then on the weekends, it will be a little bit more. This way you can learn whatever you want in that specific timeline, which is quite great. You know what you need to study, you know what you need to do, how, but what about the resources? What about what you can leverage to study? You can ask that as well. So based on the above, provide learning resources like free courses, paid courses, books, YouTube channels that cater to any learning style. And in my opinion, I just said learning style, any learning style, because I like listening, I like watching, and I like learning by doing. And just like that, it will give you online courses, books, and YouTube channels, and even online resources that you can leverage to learn whatever you want. So this covers everything you need to learn before you actually sit down to study. Now, what would you be doing once you know, once you have certain knowledge of the topics? You will want to get assessed or you will want to create a portfolio, for example, or you will want to do exercises and apply the theory that you learn into practice. You can say, you're a beginner UX UI designer interested in learning how to apply what you recently learned. To do this, provide project ideas to help strengthen the knowledge and this way start creating a portfolio. And just like that, it will spit a few ideas. You can even select how many you want to start learning. And no worries, because this doesn't just not apply for UX UI. You can literally say, I'll leave in the description down below the different prompts. You just need to replace with what applies for you. For example, you are a beginner XXX interested in learning how to apply what you learn above. To do this, provide blah, 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 and this way start XXX. In this case, it was creating a portfolio, but it could also be creating an app, creating a, 
you name it. What happens, for example, when you don't know a term, when you need to understand something and no matter what, you just cannot understand it. You can give it the prompt, you are an experienced UI ex designer and please explain to a fifth grader, which is the easiest explanation you can get, the concept of X. In this case, I ask wireframes. And just like that, it will give you the concept explained to a five grader level, which is by nature the easiest level of language to understand. But it doesn't stop there. You can also ask to help you visualize. In this case, I want to understand what prototyping means. So you're an experienced UX UI designer, guide a fifth grader through a visualization exercise to help internalize the concept of prototyping with real life examples. And just like that, it will spit whatever you need to do in order to start understanding what this concept is. In this case, prototyping, it can also be coding, it can also be a medical term, it can also be anything. Now, the last way you can leverage AI to learn whatever you want is by asking questions. And not you asking questions, but the AI asking you questions. So you, so you say, hey, you're an examiner and you will ask me questions about certain topic. I will reply with what the answer will be and ask me questions about the terms and topics that I just learned. You will ask one question at a time, wait for my response and provide feedback. And I really suggest saying you will ask one question at a time wait for my response and provide feedback because last time I did it and it just gave me like 20 questions, which was helpful for me to learn, but I really wanted to test my knowledge and get feedback. Now, as you've seen uh, on the first statement of each of the prompts, I say, you are a XXX, you are an examiner, you are an experienced UI, UX UI, you are a management consultant. This is such that the AI knows from what point of view it needs to do it. Otherwise, you don't get the knowledge that you need. Uh, by no means I'm an expert in self learning and I'm still <laughs> learning myself and figuring out this whole AI type of thing. And I have no background in technology. I'm just sharing something that for me, it's on top of my head right now, doing a career path, changing a career path and how I can actually leverage that and learn while using the resources that are free available for myself. So if you have any other methods that you think could help me or could help others, just leave them down below. Perhaps you have a, another YouTube video that you recommend or perhaps you have another way of learning that might help. Just feel free to post it down below and stay tuned for more. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.